This video is in direct response to a lot of questions about the ERC, the Employee Retention Credit. And the first part of it is how to qualify in different quarters. I also want to talk about how to qualify if you were not in business this time last year, getting a lot of questions there. So let's, let's take these one step at a time. The first one I want to take is we qualify or how do we qualify? And I've, I've kind of cheated here and I've got a timeline. The ERC came about on March 13th for a two, you know, a little over two week period at the end of March, which is in the first quarter. And uh, in a separate video, you can see the link below. I go into how the employee retention credit in that time period will go on the second quarter, 941. But you can also file the form 7200 as many times as you want. I also did a video on that in order to get this credit back faster than waiting all the way till July. So first thing is you qualify in each quarter. The first way to qualify, as we all know, and I think that's most of the discussion, is you look to see in the current period, like right now, we're in the second quarter. We will look at second quarter 19, and if our gross receipts were down 50%, that's number one here, then we would qualify. So with that, we would do that in second quarter, then we do it in third quarter until our receipts get back to 80% of what they were in the prior year. Again, this retention credit can be utilized throughout the remaining of the year. The other thing I want to say here is that if you use this credit, you or your client cannot use the PPP and related parties cannot use it. You either use the banking side, the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, uh, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, or you use the tax credit. You can't do both. You cannot double dip. We look at second quarter, we qualify. Then we get to third quarter, we look to see if we qualify again. And that test is as 50% uh, of gross receipts from the prior period. The thing I see being missed is this next one, this partial or fully suspended rule. I see a lot of, of questions out there. What happens if I just started my business in January of 2020? Or what happens if I started my business in November of 2019? Well, you're not going to have the first test but you still have this partial fully suspended. So if I'm a retail store and I'm in an area that says you're shut down for a week, that's any time in the second quarter, then it's this the credit, if you're under 100 employees, then you get a 50% credit on all employees that you're paying up to 50% of $10,000 in wages per employee. What happens is that if you're a restaurant, and you have curbside service. Well, you at that point in time, you're partially suspended. So my big takeaway here is remember, if you're under some kind of government order, you are partially or fully suspended unless you're essential. But if you're essential, you still, if you're partially suspended, you could still qualify. But for this discussion, we're going to say, look at your state law, look to see if your profession, your type of business has some kind of restriction on it. And even if you had no income last year or your gross receipts are not down 50%, you still would qualify. So I think this is a very important and you also qualify by each quarter, but you can qualify by one test in one quarter and a different test in another quarter. I hope this helps. Subscribe. I'll keep you updated on this because the other thing we will be doing, uh, I've already done a program, a link below on the 7200. I'm getting ready to do here in the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing a 941 before the instructions are out. It'll be a second quarter 941. And I want to walk you through on how we're going to get this credit, whether we got it on the 7200 in advance or we get to the end of the quarter and we get to July to get our credit back. Again, Thank you. Stay tuned.